After setting up the DNS service in the previous video, we're now going to build an image. This is done the exact same way that is done in Docker. We need to create a Docker file and specify all the dependencies. Okay, so we're going to set up a Docker file for a basic Python web server and use it to build a container image named web test. Okay, so we're going to create a directory, cd into that directory. Here is the Docker file. Okay, so it has to have this name the same as with Docker, right? So you just name it Docker file. You specify the base image, the working directory, add the curl package. Okay, so you add this text to the index.html file. And this starts the web server on port 80. We can read more about all of this here. Since the working directory is slash content, the web server runs in that directory and delivers the content of the file. The server listens on this wildcard address to allow connections from the host and other containers. You can safely use this address inside the container because external systems have no access to the virtual network to which the container attaches. I'm going to add this into one of my public repos, this container data public. So if I add any other containers, they're going to be added there. If you're following along, you don't need to do this. The only reason I'm doing it is to share any other containers that I create so you can have them available here. Okay, so I'm just going to clone this because I don't think I have it locally. I'm going to switch to my GitHub directory and uh, let's see if I have it here. Nope, it's not there. So I'm just going to clone it. I'm going to paste this. Now with the Tmux Sessionizer, I'm just going to switch to this container data public. This is the one. I'm going to create a directory here. What should I name it? Um, I'm just going to name it Apple for now. It's fine. And I'm just going to use this directory name web-test. We have here web-test. And in here, we're going to create the file named Docker file. So just going to type this in here. Docker file, sync, yes. I'm using NeoVim, so you can use whatever text editor you use. I open this file. I'm just going to copy this here. And I'm going to paste it here in NeoVim. It's going to save automatically because that's the way that I have it configured, of course. Okay, now we're going to build the image. Container build, tag, web test, file, Docker file in the current directory, I assume. So let's just copy this. Yeah, it says here, the last argument tells the builder to use the current directory. So I'm just going to bring up my terminal. I use Alt T in my specific case. Notice that it automatically put me in the same directory. This is a Tmux pane. If you want to learn how I do it, you can go and check this video out. I explain stuff in detail there. I'm just going to paste this in here. I'm going to run this command. Etching build kit image. Okay, so it's doing that right now. Let's just give it some time. Okay, so notice that it's downloading the image right now which is uh, the Python one. I assume it's downloading this one at the moment, the Alpine version. Okay, so the image was built. Let's see what the documentation says. Container images list. Okay, so if we run this command, we should see the image there. I'm just going to paste this in here. Hit enter. Okay, and we have those images. Python and web test. It says here that you should see both the base image and the image that you built in the results. So here's the base image, Python Alpine, which is the one here, and the image that we just uh, created, which is web test. Remember that this video is part of a playlist. If you're not following, go and check out the previous videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to support me as well to keep this channel going, you can consider becoming a member. I'm going to leave a link in the video description as well. I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next video.